I've been working on this power supply wiring harness, and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you a cable lacing knot I learned in my first aerospace job in the late 1970s. The reason you use this cable lacing instead of wire ties is wire ties are very hard, and uh, when the, the G-forces that fighter planes go through and the vibration, the, the combination of the hard wire tie and the wire would eventually cut through the insulation on the wire. So they almost exclusively use this uh, lacing tape uh, on the wiring harnesses and to tie the wire into, into place. At least they did then. I don't know what they do now. I haven't worked on planes in 30 years. But back then, that's what they did. Now, this lacing tape comes in two types. It comes in waxed, which is the kind I prefer, because it sticks a little bit better on the wires, and it comes in non-waxed. When it's used in spacecraft, they use the non-waxed variety because the wax on the, co the wax coating outgasses in the vacuum. Okay, so let me show you how this knot works. So you never cut this until you're done with the knot. So you make a loop in the end, of the, in the end here, and then you stick the loop under the wi wire and stick your fingers through the loop. Now grab the piece that's coming from the spool and pull that through. Now stick your fingers through that loop you've just pulled through and grab the loose end piece and pull that through and then pull it tight. Okay, then take one more, just a kind of a half hitch on the top. Now you can cut this with wire cutters at, at, if you want. But uh, the preferred way is if you've got your soldering iron, you just use the bottom of the soldering iron tip, do that, and it melts the ends a little bit so they don't fray. Now let's do this one more time. Okay, so here, make, make, make a, a half loop in the wire, I mean in the uh, lacing tape, stick it under the wire. Stick your fingers through the loop. Grab the piece coming from the spool. Pull that through. Put your fingers through that loop. Grab the loose end piece. Pull tight. And then another half hitch. And then take the soldering iron and cut it off. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.